I wish I could say this is my backyard, but no, I'm obviously at a park. So yeah, I have moved and I'm now double vaxxed. The last month was really rough because I got evicted, technically. Um, I used to live in a house that's owned by this couple. I used to live in their basement, you know, separate entrance and whatever. But they had to sell the house and the new buyer didn't want me there. So they were like, yeah, you have to leave. So I went through some, um, what was the crisis nurse called? Um, whatever adjustment. Yeah, I had to go to ER and I had to take a long mental health break. But after the move, I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like my old place just like brought me bad luck. <laughs> um, even though I love the place and like I would love to go back. Um, but I'm liking the new area and I'm now officially a downtown Toronto resident. And you know what that means? Food. So I already went to Chinatown because, you know, we got to support small businesses, independent businesses, and I personally want to support POC businesses. So I used to live in the beaches and technically I was close to the old Chinatown. I love that area, but I didn't go there that much because they don't carry that many Japanese products and I need them. So, you know, keep on coming back to Chinatown on Spadina. And the funny thing is that I used to work on Queen and Spadina and my last job was at college in Spadina. So I know the area, but I've never tried the most prized slash famous Bami place. So I decided to go there. So it has carrot, ham, and uh, coriander. Three dollars and fifty cents. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Okay, I only ate the bread, but it is so soft. It is so soft. Mmm. What is this sauce? I can just black pepper. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, I wish I knew about this place when I was at EFT because it's literally down the street, down Spadina. And this is so inexpensive. What the heck? I'm gonna keep the rest because I want to have it for dinner, but this is so good. And the next small business I'm supporting is Mansion Cafe. I love their... I, honestly, I love their everything. I got the egg tart today. Three for two dollars. I lived off of their pork buns when I was at EFT. God. That place saved my life. When I moved to my new place in downtown, I was like, okay, I'm a lot closer to Chinatown. I'm gonna go and support Mansion Cafe as much as I can. And I was so happy when I got back to the place today. I haven't been there for at least a year and a half. So I kind of got emotional going back, but yeah, let's just have their egg tart. $2 for this three egg tarts. Good deal. I already have a bite, but it was only a crust. Mmm. Sugar. An egg. It's good. Like, knowing the price, like, you can't beat this. The custard part is a bit too hard, but... And I wish, um, the pie crust was a bit thicker, but honestly, I love it. Three for two dollars. Who can beat it? No one. Ugh. Okay, I'm now full, and I'm gonna go to the most loved and famous supermarket according to me okay don't judge me but yeah supermarket in chinatown i love the place let's go say so, yeah, i'm home i really hate filming like in stores so i didn't do it but i got you know my asian japanese household necessities like udon and gyoza so i'm all satisfied but yeah i used to be like oh living in downtown sucks I don't want to ever do that, but now I'm like, oh, now I understand it's convenient AF and I get to see and support all the small businesses that slowly, you know, disappearing thanks to Rona and incompetence of Ford and Tory. So I feel like I'm doing a better job than those two cis hetero men today in regards to supporting small local POC owned businesses. So don't forget to vote. Yeah. So. I'm back. That was my attempt of a vlog. I don't think it went well. Oh well. But yeah, I have um, film reviews coming up. Films that I saw at Toronto Japanese Film Festival. I got a press pass. Thank you to Dakota. Check out his podcast. He and Rachel invited me to 
talk about the films that we saw at TJFF and that episode's been out for a while. Um, listen to that. I had a great conversation about prison inmates' rights and depiction of LGBTQ, what it truly means to have that representation. I really liked that episode, but honestly I like all the episodes that Dakota does, so check that out. So yeah, subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I am sweating like hell, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and take a shower and fix this situation. Anyways, okay everyone, stay safe, bye kids!